Here at Cookman Law, we help set up a lot of trusts, and then we also help with the trust administration when somebody dies. One common question that we get asked is, how much should a trustee get paid? So this is a great question. Trust administration is a complicated venture, and you'll wanna make sure that the person you name is really able to handle the job. Sometimes it's best to choose a family member but other times it's better to name a professional. This person will rightly charge for their work, but nobody wants to be overcharged. So the big question is, how much should the trustee be charging? Let's jump right in. Okay, so in California, the California Probate Code governs all things about trusts and trustees, and it does cover trustee compensation. So this is what it says in California Probate Code section 15680. It says, if the trust instrument provides for the trustee's compensation, the trustee is entitled to be compensated in accordance with the trust instrument. So basically, you're supposed to follow what the trust says. Okay, but then it says, if the trust instrument does not specify the trustee's compensation, the trustee is entitled to reasonable compensation under the circumstances. So just to fill you in, we attorneys love to use the word reasonable. We also love the phrase, it depends. But you know, that's about as clear as mud. What does that really mean? So let's break it down. What's reasonable depends on the circumstances of each case. It's basically a flexible analysis. What do we look at? Well, we look at the total amount of money that the trustee is managing. We look at the complexity of the trust. We look at the number of beneficiaries involved and also the number of different types of assets that need to be managed. One great thing about the trust process is that you don't have to go through court to get approval for everything you do. So you don't have to get court approval for a trustee compensation. But we can look to the court process to see what trustee fees might be reasonable according to the courts. So we often look to see what is reasonable in probate administration if you don't have a trust. So here's what executors are paid when they're going through the probate court process. So they're paid 4% of the first 100,000, then 3% of the next 100,000, then 2% of the next 800,000, and then 1% of the next $9 million. And then it, it goes down, but I figure that's, that's probably enough for now. So if you total that up for a $1 million estate, an executor should be paid $23,000. That's a ton of money. And also keep in mind that the attorney who is representing the executor also gets paid $23,000. So in total, there's $46,000 coming out of the $1 million estate just for fees. I have a video about the horrors of probate called don't let what happened to Prince's family happen to you. Make an estate plan. So one attractive thing about trusts is that the trustees are usually paid less than what an executor is entitled to. But keep in mind that executors can also be paid more than that $23,000 if they do extraordinary services. And this can include managing a business, dealing with complicated tax issues, or managing or selling real estate. There's also rule 7.776 from California Rules of Court, which lists some factors that a court should consider in determining the appropriate compensation for a trustee. So those factors include the gross income of the trust, whether or not the trust administration was successful, any unusual skill or experience brought by the trustee, the amount of risk and responsibility involved in managing the trust, the amount of time spent by the trustee in performing their duties, and how much is customarily paid in that particular community, whether that work performed was routine or required a higher level of skill. If you're wondering about what a trustee needs to do, I do have a video called Trustee Roles and Responsibilities, and this talks all about everything that a trustee is required to do through a trust administration. Hey everyone, if you like my mom's video, like and subscribe. So getting to the punchline, right? How much should they be paid? Well, trustees usually take compensation either hourly or a percentage of the underlying trust assets. So banks, let's start with banks because they're kind of the most expensive, okay? They typically charge a percentage of the underlying trust assets. Usually it's about one and a quarter percent, might be a little bit higher, might be a little bit lower, and banks always have a schedule of fees, okay? So you can ask the bank, how much do you charge for a trust administration? And they'll actually send you something that delineates their fees. They're required to do this. Now, what about private professional fiduciaries? You may have heard of them. These are individuals that are licensed by the state of California to act as trustee of trusts. So some private fiduciaries charge hourly, 
and some charge a percentage. Those who I've seen charge hourly, usually they charge about $150 to $250 an hour, but some charge more. By the way, if you're not familiar with private professional fiduciaries, I have a video where I interview one and she talks all about what she does, how she makes decisions, everything like that. You can watch that video. So what if you name an individual family member or maybe a friend? The presumption might be, oh, they should do it just out of the goodness of their heart. And I say, oh, no, 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 you need to pay them because they have other things that they need to do. Now, they may choose not to take a fee, like let's say the individual that you name, you know, one of your children is also a beneficiary and they decide, you know what, I don't wanna take a fee. They don't have to, but you should put in the trust language that they're entitled to a fee. And usually an individual trustee, they usually charge an hourly fee, let's say between 50 and $150 an hour. What I've seen around where, where I work in, in the Bay Area, in California, usually the highest amount that an individual trustee might charge is 1% of the underlying trust assets, but that's a very high amount. And there are some courts in some counties in this area who have pushed back against this and have said that 1% of the trust assets is too much. So you really need to be careful when you are the trustee to see, okay, what is reasonable here? And, and beneficiaries can actually go to court and sue you or you know bring a petition to reduce your fees. Now, regardless of what you're charging, as a trustee, a trustee should always keep track of the time that they spend on the matter and what they're doing, all right? So you keep a ledger saying, you know, on this day, I spent this much time doing this, okay? I know that it's such a pain, that that's so important to be able to justify your fees if they ever get questioned. And you might be thinking, well, why wouldn't a beneficiary of a trust who's also acting as a trustee, why wouldn't they take compensation? Well, because whatever you get paid as a trustee, it counts as a salary. You have to pay income taxes on it, and that can be a pretty high amount, all right? So some people don't want to take a salary and then pay income taxes on it. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you. You know, whether you're a trustee and you're looking to see how much should I charge, or maybe you're a beneficiary and you're wondering, is it reasonable for the trustee to charge this amount? Or maybe you're just creating your trust and you're thinking, how much do I want my trustee to be allowed to charge? Now, I have a, a video on the trust administration process in general, which really walks you through everything that a trustee does to show how that trustee earns their fees. It's called, what happens to my trust when I die? I also want to encourage you to sign up for my newsletter. We send out a newsletter once a month and we have a little invitation in the description box that you can click on and you can receive up-to-date information that might relate to your situation. We focus a lot on special needs planning. Thank you. Hello everyone. If you liked my mom's video, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you all next time.